Here is an in-depth guide on how Harkill Active Protection Systems work in War Thunder, explained in just under 5 minutes. There are different types of active protection systems in War Thunder. However, they can be grouped into three different technology levels. The Drost is representative for an early APS module. It only protects the tank's frontal arc against ATGMs. Next, we have Trophy HV. This system offers 360 degrees of protection and can stop projectiles that travel up to 1000 meters per second. Iron Fist is the most advanced active protection system that's currently in game. It's able to stop projectiles of up to 1700 meters per second, which theoretically gives it the capability to intercept some APFSDS shells. There are also other differences between the various active protection systems. I will go through some of the less immediately obvious differences here. For example, different systems will be able to intercept targets of different sizes. For Iron Fist, the minimum size of the projectile decreases as the speed increases. The Drost system also has a significantly lower reaction time when compared to most, allowing it to intercept ATGMs at near point blank range. Different systems also have a different number of charges, but that should be pretty self-explanatory. It is also worth mentioning that crew skills have no effect on the performance of your active protection system. APS charges can be reloaded on friendly capture points, however, the rate of replenishment is extremely slow, making it mostly impractical to use in actual battles. Currently, as long as the APS gets activated, the countermeasure is guaranteed to hit and damage the incoming projectile. However, that doesn't mean you are safe, but I will explain that in more detail later. First, let's talk about Drost and Trophy HV. Despite their lower speed limit, both systems are able to stop most ATGMs. This includes top attack munitions like the Tau 2B, Vickers fired from a KA-52 and even the AS-30L, a missile that weighs over 500 kilos. The only exception that I know of is the MIM-146 found on the ADATS. It has a top speed of 1027 meters per second. Now let's talk about Iron Fist. This system can stop projectiles of up to 1700 meters per second. Does this mean it can stop heat FS and AP FSDS? Well, sort of. First, let's go through how the system should work in theory, then how it works in practice. Theoretically, the system is capable of guaranteeing a kill on any heat shell as the projectiles are treated the same way as ATGMs. It's more complicated when it comes to APFSDS rounds. The explosive charge fired from the active protection system is supposed to destabilize the round and knock it off course, reducing its penetration by 30 to 50%. However, in practice, the protection offered by Iron Fist isn't very consistent. During testing, the system failed to activate despite being in some pretty optimal circumstances, even against heat rounds that only travel at 1100 meters per second. As implemented, the system will rarely save you against APFSDS, even after destabilization most shells will still be able to punch through traditional weak spots like the lower front plate, driver's hatch and the side armor of most tanks. The system is also unable to stop threats that travel over 1700 meters per second, which means it's unable to act against some of the most powerful shells in the game. Most APFSDS shells travel at over 1500 meters per second. With a 300 milliseconds reaction time, the minimum targeting distance will be at least 450 to 500 meters. More systems will likely come to the game in the future, but after watching this guide, you should be able to extrapolate the performance of those systems. Based on my testing, active protection systems are unlikely to play a major role in urban tank-on-tank -tank engagements due to the minimum engagement distances. Its inconsistency against APFSDS shells also means it likely won't play a big role in long-range engagements, especially as most systems have extremely limited charges. However, they will still have an impact on the game. Tanks with hot kill active protection systems are less likely to be targeted by helis, especially as more tanks get this system in the future. While it might not be entirely realistic, your tank's active protection system will not be activated by shells that come from friendly tanks. Although it is likely the developers made this choice for some pretty understandable gameplay reasons. If you like tanks, you are going to want to watch this video where I rank every top tier MBT in War Thunder.